significantly more reliable than national standards. Question number nine, Greg O'Connor. My question is to the Minister of Housing and Urban Development. What steps has he taken to improve the quality of rental properties? The Honourable Phil Twyford. I'm advised that around 1,600 mainly older New Zealanders are dying prematurely each winter and around 40,000 New Zealand children are hospitalised with illnesses linked to cold, damp homes. The government intends to set modern minimum standards for heating and ventilation, draft stopping, drainage and moisture for rental properties to help reduce the negative health effects of living in cold, damp homes. Supplementary question, um, Mr Speaker. Will these measures place a burden on landlords and put up rents? The government will support landlords to make sure their properties are up to scratch with grants of up to $2,000 per property for retrofitting and will embark on a comprehensive consultation process with landlords next year as alongside other stakeholders and the public in this designing of the new standards. Many factors influence private sector rents, not least supply and demand, and the government will work with landlords to ensure that providing warm, dry homes is both cost-effective and practical and at the same time deals with the shocking health effects of substandard housing. Um, how long will it take to implement these changes? Once the Homes Guarantee Bill is passed, there will be an 18-month period during which time the standards will be met. There will be... There will be an additional grace period so that landlords have the time to prepare to meet the new standards. Then, every time a new tenancy turns over, it must meet the standards, and after five years, every rental property must comply. The Hon. Michael Woodhouse. Uh, to the Minister, does he intend to table draft regulations in advance of the consideration of the Bill in the Committee of the Whole, as is customary when primary legislation prescribes for secondary legislation? No. Question number 10, the Hon. Paul Goldsmith. Uh, Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Education and asked...